So today we got something a little bit different. We're gonna head over to Spanish Trail. We're gonna take a look at six homes today with a client. Here it is, guys. Pool seems to be definitely in great shape. We're gonna have to redo the tile. I mean, everything is done. Here's the primary, ooh, gorgeous. Hello. These are actually the wrong mirrors for this. This is supposed to be linear. The These little icon things should be down here. Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday here in Las Vegas. So today we got something a little bit different. We're gonna head over to Spanish Trail, which is a luxury community on a golf course. We're gonna take a look at six homes today with a client, but also just wanted to share with you, the weather is awesome right now here in Las Vegas. But take a look at our landscaping. I'm so, so thankful of this. Oh man, a lot of hard work was put into this. This stuff is not cheap. Hard work, guys, does pay off. So just want to let you guys know that. I think that's very important to share with you guys. But anyway, let's go take a look at some kick-ass property. There's the one thing that I forgot to mention today. Last night I was watching the news and the news was saying that today here in Las Vegas, we are about to receive winds up to 60 miles an hour now my nose is already congested and i feel like i'm already getting allergies and it is slightly windy a little bit see that flag and there's a lot of dust so here's the thing if you got allergies uh sometimes vegas could be very windy and you can definitely get allergies look at the door just slam closed but I just realized, I mean, look at this. Look at the signs, they're all just flapping. 60 miles an hour today. That's tornado stuff right there, right? Guys, look how dusty it is. This is just crazy. Look at this. This is only gonna get worse. Man, look how dusty my truck is already. Oh my gosh. Woo! All of my eyes and everything. Ah! Now I showed you guys property here before in the Spanish Trail. This is a golf community that is guard gated. The exterior of it's really nice. The homes over here were actually built in the late 90s early 2000s so a lot of them are going to be the more colonial spanish type style home with the brick uh with the light brown clay tile on top a lot of the stone a lot of the brown tone colors which is i don't really care too much for but you're having a lot of investors and buyers coming in to this community and like completely gutting everything out and modernizing everything but i can't wait to show you some of these homes that we're going to take a look at and some of the pricing is actually pretty fair but the ones on the golf course are going to have more value versus the uh, inner lot now you do have two gates here you have an east gate a west gate i'm on the east gate right now and on the opposite side of the community there's another gate with a guard shack and that's where all the vendors are going to come in and out as far as like pool guys landscaping if they're doing construction they're not allowed to come through this side this is the only thing that sucks about a guard gated community that when you're coming in you got to provide your id contact information then they got to call the owner to give you access to the property which is great for like security stuff but when you have like a long line like that people just waiting just sometimes it could be very annoying because the process just to get in takes about anywhere from three to five minutes
Here it is, guys. All right, so this one, 1.2, 4,134 square feet, four bedrooms, and a den. Well, this could definitely get remodeled. Oh, you got a biking stove. Let's go take a look at the backyard here. Pool definitely could be uh, redone, definitely outdated. A lot of potential for sure. Here, you can see that they painted this flooring here. That's not the original flooring. This is it right here, the original. You have to scrape that floor. Oh, look at that. You got a coyote. See him? Come here. Come here. A couple golfers. Pool seems to be definitely in great shape. You're gonna have to redo the tile. Kitchen is definitely a gut job. All original cabinets. They added this uh, new range here. All oh, this is new, the Viking. It's crazy, back in the day, this is like the style, huh? All right, so my client was saying that they actually remodeled the upstairs and it looks like they stopped the remodel because they probably ran out of budget or because probably the market slowed down. Let's take a look here. Oh yeah, definitely did the fireplace. Oh, those are the quartz I always use. Let's go take a look at the bathroom. Oh yeah, they started it. Oh, love this. Light here, that's cool. Yep. Wow. Interesting. Oh, they got up a day. All right, so this first property, clients definitely did like the property. The asking price was 1.25 million for about 4,100 square feet definitely needed a lot of work the property was outdated now uh, my clients he is interested if he could get a a good deal on it about you know i guess he wants a million for it right or wants to offer a million which actually really makes sense just due to the fact that uh there's properties in here that are at the same price and completely rehab. I don't know if you'll be able to get this one for lower, but I mean, it is what it is. Uh, we're gonna take a look at another one and we're gonna compare the two. Now, this second one that we're gonna go to, uh, this one has been completely remodeled. This one is also on a golf course view as well. This is at 1.3 and this is only 3,500 square feet. So you're short about 600 square feet. So we're gonna go down to the links here, the community. One thing you'll notice about this neighborhood, definitely the yeah, neighborhood has more wider streets and you have like your own mailbox too as well in front of your house, which is nice. I, you know, I feel like that's more charming than anything. So this is the front of the home right here. Let's we'll see what this thing looks like. I mean, everything is done. Here it is. Little <laughs> dining area. Hmm. Love the black with the gold.
Oh, I think this thing is gorgeous. Now this one is about what uh, what I say like 3,500 square feet on this one, and it was built in 1990. Oh, actually 1987. 1.3. So you're looking at about 371 dollars a square foot. So that's not bad at all for a completely remodeled home. Lot size on this one is about. Six and nine square feet. This is all brand new slides right here as well. This is a 12 foot slide. I wonder if it opens both ways. Let's go take a look at the outside. Ooh, aluminum slides. Nice glide. It's definitely a nice home. I don't know, I like this one better than the other one, but just because it's clean. Alright, we're gonna go upstairs and take a look at the uh the primary. Here's the primary. Ooh, gorgeous. Look how they stained this wood here. Got the balcony. Let's see what this bathroom looks like. I'm telling you, goat is back. I mean, look at all the trimming on the goat here. Definitely a nice home. Matter of fact, what I'll do is, um, all the homes that we are touring today, I'm gonna have a link in the description, so that way you guys can look through it. Let me know what your thoughts are. The missus, she definitely likes it, however, husband, Thanks the property's overpriced. Let me know in the comments below, would you pay $1.3 million for the property? Now we're gonna head over to our third property. Just a couple months ago, man, I remember you could literally throw a rock and get a buyer and they'll go out and they'll submit offers above the appraisal wave all contingencies, but that's not happening anymore. The market has shift. We dropped down to about 9.1%. There are a lot of agents that are leaving the industry because they're not surviving. It's good for me because I have more of an opportunity with the buyers, but what's going on right now, especially, you know, the holidays as well, you don't have that many buyers. When the economy's not doing good, real estate is like literally the first to go. When we feel it as agents, am I getting kind of nervous? Not so much of nervous, but I have to reposition. I'm working harder just to even like break even, believe it or not. But I mean, that's just part of this industry. And you know, one thing that I've learned is this when I first got started and I came in in like 2009 when the market had crashed. One thing that I've learned by watching all these other agents, when it's good in real estate, it's great. Everybody's making money. But one thing I didn't do was go out and buy all kind of dumb stuff. I mean, I've bought stuff like, you know, passive income stuff, right? Properties, but I've always stacked and saved my money because I knew that this downturn will come. I just don't know how hard this downturn will be for all of us. And when that time comes, I should be in a great position because of all this cash that I have stacked, cash and ready to go, to reposition but on the on the flip side is that if we go into hyperinflation all that money I have in the bank I'm pretty much screwed so I mean I am taking a gamble but it is a risk all right this is the property right here so this one is a uh, 2,500 square feet Andy what are you doing to me nine hundred thousand dollars all right let's go inside let's go take a look Hello. Hi. All right, this one is 2,500 square feet, three bedrooms, three bathrooms, $900,000. Oh yeah, this is definitely like the mini, mini Barbie house, for sure. All right, so that one is a hell no. 
they wanted like $350 a square foot and you still gotta rehab it. That didn't make any sense. All right, so we are inside this house. Everything looks nice, but just like low. Now this one right here is uh, 20, about 2,800 square feet, three bedrooms. Looks nice. Oh, not bad. I'm gonna go upstairs. Let's go see what's going on upstairs. Oh, it's very choppy. Definitely like the countertops. The spa bath is very nice. These are actually the wrong mirrors for this. This is supposed to be linear. The, these little icon things should be down here. Structurally, I'm not really feeling this house. But as far as the remodel, they did a really good job. I like the colors and stuff like that. Definitely modern, so. Oh my God, how windy it is. It's crazy right now. to this channel go ahead and click that subscribe button show the love show the support peace